Hello and welcome to another Nico Media Quick Tip. So uh, I got a lot of questions how I uh, implemented my render settings here in my layout here in the toolbar here. So you see I have here the normal render thing. So in, in the render settings there is okay uh, let's delete the Logi here. This is my normal render settings and if I want another one I have here a drop down menu and can take whatever I want. Let's say I want now the middle GI, check. see the middle GI is here and everything is set up like I want it. You can do it, of course you can do it also here, right click and load preset, you will have it here as well. But uh, yeah, but it, I think it's quite nice to have it here, so next to the render settings and, and uh, I want to show you how I did this. And yeah, most of the people who ask me, they have the Nicomedia Scene Rig Ultimate. And in the Nicomedia Scene Rig Ultimate, you have uh, the import render settings. And this does not work since uh, we have the asset browser and no uh, content browser anymore. It does not work anymore. So it, it works, but uh, uh, it opens a new document. And this is, this, we don't need this. So, but. Uh, in this case, let's go to the Nicomedia Scene Rig here. Uh, how you bring it in your asset browser, I have already shown this, so this is already online. And we have here the render settings. I simply drag the render settings in here and you see that it makes a new document. And uh, But I have now my render settings in here. They come with the Nicomedia Scene Rig. And now it's an easy one to get this as a preset for for this uh, thing here, for this drop down here. So I go back to the standard and show it from there. So we have here now the render settings. And uh, let's go to the asset browser and first of all click somewhere here so that you don't have selected anything and make a new category here. So I create a new category Create category, I name it render settings or the render, render presets. Render pre presets. Okay, I make it in my test database here and say okay. So now I have here render presets. And now I simply go through here. Unfortunately, we cannot simply drag it in here. This is not possible because of this wonderful asset browser. <laughs> Maybe you, you feel it that I still have no friendship with the asset browser. <laughs> okay, but it's quite easy. So I make a double click this here and just control C, copy this just background. You can write it again as well, but so right click and save preset. Now control V because I just copied this. This is my database, is okay, and I want to bring it in the category here in the render presets here. Okay, and okay, and now you see I have here just background, this is my first render preset. Do the same here, so I'm going to slow copy it, so save preset, low, and I want to save it in my render presets here. Okay, and make another one, make the low GI, copy, and uh, save preset, low GI, and bring it in my render settings here. Bup, 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 bup. Okay, this is enough for now, it's, you know how it works. Now. So, okay, now I close this uh, document. And now how do we bring, bring me, so now you can uh, already uh, go to the right click and load presets. I have my, my presets here in, in as well, but you see I have here twice just background and so on, so, so it's already in here. But we want it uh, here next to the render settings. Good, so let's go <laughs> press Shift F12 brings us to the command manager. Edit palettes and make a new palette. So we have here new palette, and now I simply drag in the just background, drag in the low, I drag in next to it, and the low GI, I drag in. 
Okay, so I want to see here show the text and not the icons. So again, don't show the icons. So I have only the text here. And the next one I want, I want to change the orientation. So it's like this. And I want to fold the palette. So, and now I can drag this palette here and can drag it uh, to, in my case, I want it to here. That's fine. But I want this is the material manager. I drag the material manager here to the side. You can delete this here. Can delete too. with the double click you deleted icons or, or placeholders or something else you just double click on it and you uh, delete them so this looks fine for me so I can close this and now when I, I have here my render settings nothing you see now when I go on this stay a little on, on this and I have here my render settings and I click to low here I have my low settings just ambient occlusion no global illumination and progressive with very low settings and when I want my low GI I go to here so I go to low GI and I have my low GI this is now with the global elimination here is out here with and and so on so on. this is a very easy thing to access your render setting uh, your own render presets yeah I think it's usable <laughs> okay I hope this helped and yeah, the tutorial will be online soon and uh, yeah, have a wonderful day. Here we have in Austria, we have a holiday. I don't know if you have one too, but if so, have a nice holiday and or the last hours at least. And I hope you are with me with my next tutorial, which will come soon, as I said. And. Bye bye, tschüss und baba.